Okay, here we go. We're going to make the nano ceramic coating today. So, uh, four basic ingredients uh, butyl acetate. That's simply going to be our solvent to carry this polymer so we can apply it to the metal. Uh, the most important ingredient is going to be the durazane. So, this is the polysilazane um, chemistry that's going to cure into a silica coating. So, it's going to cure into a very hard uh, polymer when it uh, reacts with water. To control the flexibility, we're going to add a little bit of this polymer called paraloid just enough to give it some flexibility so the coating's not so brittle that it shatters like glass. Our goal is to make a very hard coating though. We're gonna add a little bit of a silicone surfactant so that gives the, uh, uh, the coating a nice water repellency. It's gonna be very smooth. It's not gonna attract dust. So let's uh, get this chemistry going and see how it works. Okay, since the chemistry is moisture sensitive, I am going to heat the glassware just to dry it. Might be overkill, but it's a good practice. Okay, for, so for this experiment, I'm gonna make 15 grams. This recipe calls for 8.6 grams of the solvent. All right, next I'm adding 0.3 grams of the paraloid polymer. Now we need to mix this to get all that polymer in solution. All right, now we're adding the six grams of Durazane. Okay, after about five minutes, that looks pretty good. Let's get the silicone in there. That is it. We'll mix it one more time. I'm gonna let this mix. All right, that's the end of part one. We've got our samples. We'll let those cure overnight. It's actually gonna take a week for them to reach pure total hardness, and that is the first generation ceramic coating. Pretty easy to make, we'll see how it works.